If you were to look at Twitter, I'm pretty sure you would think vegans were taking over the world. But no, believe me, they're not. They're not. But they do have a voice, and everyone's voice should be heard. And if someone creates a good product, whether it's food or... With, I suppose we're talking about vegans, so food, then uh, they should be praised. And if it's bad, then I'll say it's bad, because... The KFC vegan burger that I tried last week, this week, last week, was naff. It was disgusting, it was disgusting, it was rank. The Greg sausage roll that's vegan, it wasn't disgusting, but it just wasn't as good as the regular one. I'm not a huge fan of Greg's, but like, it's chill, I prefer Percy Engel myself. But, um, Greg's have come out with some, some new vegan stuff as well, apparently vegan donuts. Donuts, if you don't know, are like my thing. Donuts are my kryptonite. Yeah, that's my thing. I will do anything for a donut, pretty much. If it's a good donut, but I'm very particular. That's why I like, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. I don't like stodge, I don't like too rich, I don't like too chocolatey. So, so, I would, I would call myself like a, uh, you know there's a chicken connoisseur and then one bite everyone knows the rules, bar stool, the pizza purist type of guy. I'm like, uh, the donut dynasty. I don't know, but like, I have that type of vibe. Like, I, I, I know a lot about donuts, all right? I eat a lot of donuts. I eat probably too many donuts. I've cut down, but I, I still probably eat too many compared to the regular person. So, these are vegan donuts. Apparently, veganuary's a thing. I'm not gonna play. Veganuary. People doing it. And if you looked at Twitter, like I said, then you'd think that everyone was doing it. But no, it's a select few. But veganuary is a thing. And uh, vegan donuts are sort of taking a wave. Having a bit of a, a wave and, and uh, an appeal in the UK. So I've got two here. This is from a, uh, a company called Crosstown. Um, I want to make sure that I do have... There you go, I have tissues. Otherwise, this could have been very, very messy, you know? Uh... You know, this is the problem with vegan stuff sometimes. Sometimes that the idea is that it's better than the regular product when it's not. But I think that's only specific with meat products. With these other auxiliary food items, I think that maybe there's a chance that they can um, actually be decent compared to the original. So this is a... Um, wow, that's sticky. Uh, this is a... Like a apple crumble type donut. I'm not sure exactly how good this is going to be. I'll take a bite and uh, give it a shot, but it is super sticky. I'm about to go to the gym, so like I assume this was like a, a gym snack. But, you know, I'm just trying to convince myself of that. So I'll try this anyway. Hopefully it's good. Uh, I'm not expecting the best, but I'm not hoping for the worst either. But I'm not hoping for the best. <laughs> All right, I'll try this. It's a bit doughy. It's a bit bread rolly. Um, it's got like an apple compote in the middle, if you see. It's very spiced. Like, I like that. I like the apple part of it. I don't mind the glaze on it. But the actual donut itself is a bit too stodgy for me. Uh, so if I was to rate that on a donut scale... That's like a 5.2. Like, it's fine. I probably wouldn't eat it again because of the stodginess of the donut. But it's a bit cold, so I wouldn't expect it to be, like, super fresh. But it's a bit too stodgy for my liking. So then there is this other one, which is like a cinnamon roll donut. I don't know what type of mad lad thought about this, but that is humongous. That is a giant... They've gone on American sizes here. There seems to be poppy seeds in this as well, just like in the other one. I'll try this out. Because it is like a cinnamon roll, I don't expect it to be light and fluffy. It's probably going to be pretty heavy, but you never know. You could be proven wrong, so I'll try this one out as well. Why is adding poppy seeds to this stuff? Um, It's definitely lighter than the filled donut. That's a general thing with donuts which are glazed and donuts which are filled 
generally Phil Donuts are stodgier. I don't know why that is. It just seems to be the case for most donuts. This obviously isn't a donut. It doesn't have a hole in it. Um, it is designed like a cinnamon bun. It's much more palatable than the regular donut. It tastes pretty much like a donut, I would say. Like, I'm not gonna, if I ate this and I was told it was vegan, I wouldn't be like, nah, nah, nah. There's something wrong with this then. It, it tastes like a donut. So I have to be fair with this. If I was to give this a score, it'd be like a 6-4. Like, it's good. I might eat it again. I'll take another bite of it. You know, just, I'll take another bite. It's very cinnamony, but at the same time, I quite, I quite like my cinnamon super cinnamon, not just like cinnamon. So I'd probably say, give me a bit more cinnamon with it. You can taste it, it's there, but it's, it's not subtle. I just love cinnamon. That's why with the apple compote one, I sort of loved the, uh, the part of it, which was the inside rather than the actual donut, because I like the taste of a spiced food like cinnamon, maybe star anise and stuff like that they've put in it. So it does have a very, very good flavor. This as well, it tastes good, but I mean, for a vegan donut, this is like probably a 10. For a regular donut, it's like, I said six, four, six, five. I'd probably place it around there. Um, maybe I'd get this again, but I am trying to go dairy free. Not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going vegan, but dairy free is something which I've done before. And I saw like positive changes with my body. Not because of like, oh, I lost weight here or uh, I got better here, but I am lactose intolerant. So like it affects me in that way. Lactose and, and dairy sort of encourages inflammation. Apparently you don't need any of that. So I think I'm going to go dairy free again. So donuts have dairy in them. So if you can get like a dairy, dairyless vegan donut, I guess, then this isn't a bad option. It's called uh, Crosstown. It's in the uh, central, I suppose, West, West London. Uh, it's not bad. I don't know how many chains they have, but... It's pretty good. For a vegan donut, if you're a vegan and you want to try this, or if you're not vegan and you're just interested, this isn't a bad option. So to, so to anyone being like, oh my God, you hate vegans. I don't love vegans, all right? I mean, I don't love anyone, you know? That's just... <laughs> all right, well, sometimes I love my family. Um, but... <laughs> like, uh... Vegans are very aggressive some, a lot of the time. So I just have to fight the aggression with, well, aggression. You know, that's just how it goes. But not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe I'll get that one again. Probably not going to get the uh, apple crumble donut again, though. Interesting. Cool. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't think the Greg's sausage roll worked that well. I don't think KFC worked that well. Apparently McDonald's hasn't worked that well with the vegan stuff. It's a, it's a hit and miss, and it's generally a miss. But this one, I think, is leaning towards the hit rather than the miss. So, yeah. I'm glad I tried these. Who knows? I might go back again. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then I don't know, Homer Simpson will come after you, man. He eats so many donuts. He is the shape he is for a reason. Homer will come after you. You don't want that, you really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the Ranger of the Comic. You have been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. 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 Yes, every single day I make a video. There is content on this channel every day and there will be for the rest of time. Well, there will be because I'm not going to delete the channel, but there'll be another video here tomorrow and there'll be a video every day until I hit 10,000 subscribers. If you subscribe, that would be really, really useful. That would be helpful to me, helpful to you, helpful to my sleep. And I really need all those three things. Let me help you. Help me help you. So I'll see you tomorrow anyway. There'll be something up. Not sure about the quality of the, the, the you know, the video. I, I like to say I make quality shitty content. You know, shitty quality content. Quality shitty content. Yeah. See you tomorrow anyway. That would be wonderful. Skiddish.